this is a note to future Tamarin. The Mexican chicken backcountry cuisine is super spicy. I'm struggling. So we've had a busy day today. Uh, our neighbor came past with his bobcat, cleared all the space for the uh, nice new water tank to go. We've got a 10,000 litre coming. Daniel uh, contacted them yesterday. We're putting some footings underneath the shipping container so it doesn't move much because this soil is very, very soft. So putting some concrete fittings and some cinder blocks under each of the corners, trying to cement that in. And uh, we're ready to start building our lean-to off the side. It's gonna be fantastic. We've got all of this space here cleared that our neighbor came and did with his bobcat. Heaps of nice big space. Uh, so we are ready to go. In order for the lean to to be nice and strong, we've been cementing in cinder blocks and then we're going to put the container on and that way we'll ensure that everything's really really straight and really really strong and nothing will sink. Um, what we've had to do, I've had to use my car jack, I've dug it in, lifted the entire container. The container is about two and a half tons, but I reckon we're only lifting about one and a half tons because we're only lifting half the weight. And because it was slightly off level, like it wasn't parallel with the shed, uh, Dad brought his winch and he's um, used the winch here. And we were able to move it maybe, I don't know, five to ten centimeters over to the right. And yeah, now we're going to do the other side, and it's going to look a million bucks. So, how many times do you reckon your dad has sworn in Polish today? I don't know, at least 76 times. At least? Yeah. You might want to explain to people that you uh, speak Polish in the videos, because all you can hear is you guys speaking Polish. Yeah, and Tim can't understand a word. And I can't understand a thing. Yep. Yes, Daniel is from Poland. Yes, he speaks Polish with his parents. Yep. Uh, born and bred. Born and bred in Poland. Yep. I'm born and bred in Australia. But uh, Mr. European over here doesn't speak English with his parents. So every now and then, when his dad's out here doing some work, you'll hear another language. And that would be Polish. Just a little piece of information. I found the wombat hole. This is right near our camping area too, so it's right here. That's where I usually sit over by the uh, the uh, barbecue. We knew that there was a hole here, and it started over there, but now it's here. I'm wondering if it's actually an active hole or not. There's a bit of dirt down there, so I'm not sure. But now I know where it is, I won't fall down it. This can only end bad. So, like we said, Daniel is from Poland, a um, bit of backstory on us, he moved to Australia when he was five and he's been living here ever since. He hasn't ever been back, we'd love to be able to take our son Leon back to Poland and um, show him where Daniel grew up and um, you know, see all that area. Um, he still has quite a lot of family over there, so uh, one day we'll get back over there. Um, I'm born and bred in Australia, in Canberra. My whole life. We've moved around a little bit, um, but essentially I've been in Canberra for a really long time. I'm thinking if if people are interested in knowing more about us, then I can do a bit of a get to know you video with Dan and myself. Um, we won't put Leon in any of these videos, just um, because he's a kid and I'd rather him not be all over the internet. But if anyone's keen for us to do a get to know you video, 
let us know. I know that there's a few people watching who don't know us, um, mainly just friends and family. Hello to you all, we love you, we miss you. But if there's anyone out there who doesn't know who we are and would like to know who we are, let us know. Because uh, I'm sure that we wouldn't mind having a chat. I think I found my new favorite spot to sit to. It's very cozy. And this is the view. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's a really warm day today, actually. Um, I'm always surprised by how warm it does get. I'm wearing a beanie. That's only to keep my hair back because I haven't washed it and it's a mess. But it's beautiful, it's sunny, there's just no clouds, a little bit of wind, not too bad. Uh, we'll spend the day out here. Daniel and his dad will be out here again tomorrow, uh, finishing things off with the base of the shipping container. And then Daniel's dad is going to spend most of this week out here getting the lean-to built and all sorted. And then next weekend, we should be able to move everything else we're so very close uh, and next weekend my sister's coming out she hasn't been to the property yet i have two sisters she uh is from melbourne and she hasn't been to the property yet so next weekend we'll bring her out we'll do the big walk around that we do with a lot of people um we might even take her a bit further and really get rugged and all the way up to the back and <laughs> through the gullies and whatnot um we found our first casualty the other day i think it was a brush tail possum we found the tail and a bit of fur, but that was about it. I'm not sure what got it. Could have been an eagle, could have been a fox. There's been a lot of foxes out on the roads. We've seen a couple alive and dead, so there could be foxes around. I'm thinking maybe next weekend, we might stay out here the weekend. I don't know. If the weather's nice, I'll, I'll see if the boys want to stay out here with me. We've got a couple of swags now. Um, which is really really nice so one of us adults can have our own swag and then one of us can share the big swag with Leon which will make things a bit easier and we can make sure he's warm enough but I'm thinking we'll stay out here next weekend I kind of like the idea of having a fire but anyway I better get back to work before the boys get cranky put your back into it My poor fire pit got destroyed. All the rocks are over there. Very keen to get that organized again because right now it's a mess and all the rocks are blocking my barbecue, which is where I cook. It's a pain. So I've got my little raised garden bed here. I figured, nah, screw it. I'm turning this whole area into a garden bed. It would be really nice to just to fill this whole area really early so that we've got at least one growing season before we get into the big house and I can uh, I can plant some stuff it'll be kind of fun so that's us done for today it's looking very full and we haven't even moved our furniture in yet I'm really really hoping it all fits but we haven't started stacking all that stuff at the back yet so we still have a little bit of room but so I'm pretty chuckers. That's everything from the house. We still have a few boxes to come in with all my books. I've got about 18 boxes of books. Yes, that is a lot. Um, and then that's it. That's all the house stuff other than the furniture. So hopefully we can get that in the next week or two. But that is us for today and we will see you next time.